This lecture is entitled The Fusion of Technology. And what we're going to be learning about is how new technologies, new innovations, new products are adopted over a period of time. And we will see that that period of time has, is increasing in recent years. And we will compare the adoption of recent technologies with uh, technologies from, from many decades ago and, 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 and see the differences. So the fusion of technology, what I want you to take away more than anything uh, from this lecture is that the pace of adoption is increasing. And this is particularly true in the last decade with the advent of the inter internet and the World Wide Web those types of technologies, uh, cell phones, iPods, uh, handheld wireless devices, that class of technology is being adopted by more numbers of people faster than any other technology in the history of mankind. If we go back to the telephone, none of us could live without a telephone today, obviously, but at one time there was a a time in, uh, in which the telephone was new technology and it was not uh, adopted by everyone right off the bat. If you go back to about 1875, that's when the telephone as we know it today was invented. Similar work even preceded that. You can go all the way back to pre-Civil War days when telephone or telephone type technology was being invented. It wasn't until the, after the First World War in the 1920s that significant numbers of people had a telephone in their homes or even had access to telephones. So that alone is a good um, almost 50 years before significant numbers even knew what a telephone was. And it was really not until the 1930s before I would call telephones commonplace technology. Um, in the 20s, businesses use it, used telephones first, um, so you might use a telephone at work, but when you came home, um, you wouldn't have a telephone, and many people went throughout their lives without using telephones. That changed in the 1930s, and, and since then, since the 1930s, the telephone has been commonplace technology. But that took a good 50 to 60 years for that transition to happen from technology introduction to technology uh, commonplace adoption. If we compare that to the World Wide Web, the World Wide Web as we know it, the, the uh, HTML, the web server software, the web browser software, that was created um, at the start of the 1990s, very early 1990s was when that was first uh, begun as a graduate uh, student project. It was it only took five years or so before millions of people were using the World Wide Web. Um, so in only five years, it went from zero or nothing to millions of users. By the next five years, and around the year 2000, there were hundreds of millions of users on the World Wide Web. And today, of course, we can't imagine uh, existing without the World Wide Web. So sometime in the last 10 years, it has become commonplace, more likely in the, in the last five or six years, it has come what I would call commonplace. But that's a, a product introduction, a product diffusion time, or technology diffusion time from zero to commonplace in only a decade, as opposed to 50 or 60 years for something uh, like the telephone. And you can repeat this same kind of comparison with uh, with a number of technologies uh, that, you, that you can find. Just walk around your house today and look at the, at the kitchen, the uh, kitchen utensils, uh, refrigerators, um, central air conditioning, uh, plumbing, even a few decades uh, before, before electricity. Um, all of these things at one time were not commonplace and now we see them as absolutely indispensable for, for current life. Uh, currently what we view uh, everyday life as being. What's going to be next? 